Europe for the very first time. Tonight they'll be going up against Colo Colo, a team who's very technical and wants to keep the ball, while Juventus is a team that wants to go direct and use their physical strength. This will be a great opportunity, Anna, for these teams to see how they contrast on the biggest global stage. The Women's Cup is all about growing the game, but also two different teams going up against each other. We've never Juventus will win it back in the midfield to the centrally. It's Caruso with a long ball in behind. Cantoria cross, Lehman with a shot. That'll go wide. Right off the bat, Caruso involved in the buildup. Wonderfully weighted pass to Cantoria, but Alicia Lehman opts to go with the outside of her right. She should have gone with the inside of her left. As this comes across, watch the foot placement. Lehman steps with her right and tries to go with the outside of the right. If she plants with her right foot and goes with the inside of her left foot, it's a simple tap in. Handling the press has been something Colo Colo's been able to do. The first minute, Juventus found an option. Here's one again across. All the way to the far side, Bonance underneath. Shot cleared for it is Lopez. Lopez across. Grace wins it, plays it inside, and that's cleared by Juventus. All the time in the world for Bonancea. She continues her run out wide. A touch, shot, goal! <laughs> Sophia Cantori with the first goal in the Women's Cup. Cantori does ever so well to take this. And it's just the run from Bonasea. As she drives forward, it puts the Colo Colo back line in a position to make a decision. Bonasea, after some well-worked play, just sees some space. Now, keep an eye on number 13, Clavio. As she steps over, that's where it opens up the space for Cantore. That's all Bonasea is waiting for. And in that moment, that's where Cantore, who's done it at the international level for Italy, puts her foot through it, goes to the far post. We do the effort goes in. A team who has had a ton of success in their own country, but looking to continue to build on that here as this ball gets played in. Balmaceda shot is blocked. Back inside, Lopez hits that one over the crossbar. Much better from Colo Colo. The secondary balls and win. Cantori with a ton of space. Heavy touch inside. Cantori across. Can't get there, blocked by Torreira. First ball is going to be played in to be headed or clipped back across for a secondary run. Bogren, shot, blocked. A touch, and it will be a corner kick for Colo Colo. An amazing free kick by Bogren. Or maybe you're just going to spread everybody out so you can have an effort from 35 yards. Why not? My goodness, what a strike. It's dipping, it's swerving. Cavaletti has to force a wonderful one is Bogarin again. Flavio is unmarked at the penalty spot. Bogarin inside. A doe. Back out to Bogarin with the shot. Far distance, and that'll go wide a far post, just off the head of Clavejo. That was Clavio who was wide open at the penalty spot. Watch number 13. Now she's gonna fade to the back. This is straight from the training ground. And nobody from Juventus look. From Beagle. And she'll take it. Ball gets swung around. Underneath to Balmaceda. Balmaceda from distance over the crossbar again. Beneath Lanzini. Lanzini with a shot inside. Multiple runners. A touch. Off her line is Torero. In an offside position. The flag is up. That goal will not count because Juventus was offside. This is close, but I think our sister invites everybody from Juventus back in. She needs to go quicker. Lopez continues her dribble out wide. Olivares across inside, cleared away. Each time, ball out wide. Mumbegal underneath to Caruso. Headed. Torero doesn't have to get a touch, and that will be a goal kick. Rather, yes, a goal kick for Juventus, or rather for Colo Colo. I do not like that from Juventus. They had everything set up. Oh, as Bonancea waits on the sideline to be let back in.
first half is over between Colo Colo and Juventus. Take advantage of it. That's what they need to do better in the second half. Second half is underway here from Lynn Family Stadium. Colo Colo will start with the go is something he's continuing to work with his team. And Tori in behind a shot to rear off her line across in front of Lehman. Lehman turns. Presence. Long throw in from Lanzini underneath. Lehman gets a touch, a shot straight into Torero. It's a good throw in by Juventus, but I agree. A team who's so good has won Serie A four times. And certainly find a way to challenge Colo Colo on those chances. This is difficult for Lehman. She's going backwards. She's. You see more of that man to man defensive effort by Juventus. A little bit of confusion. A moment of magic, a moment of confusion, and that's all that Colo Colo needed to get right back into this match. From a seemingly innocuous position, the ball gets played at the back post and Capaletti takes the wrong angle of approach. Ball Maceda puts it into a spot of bother. Was it a cross, was it a shot? It was brilliant, whatever it was, ends up in the back of the net. And the more I look at this, more I'm certain this is exactly what Balmaceda meant. Capaletti was convinced it was a cross. Balmaceda was playing chess. While Capaletti was playing checkers. And just like that, Colo Colo have leveled the match. Colo will stay with it. It's Calvejo. Out wide to Oratea. Across. Shot. Blocked. Another nice chance for Colo Colo. Right place, right time. Almost. Schatzer. Getting free. Cantori 1v1. Cantori! Touch! Blocks! Goal! Bukhari takes the lead for Juventus in the 62nd minute. Fantastic response from Juventus women after giving up a goal and a little bit of the momentum on such a clever ball played through. The first effort was cleared off the line, but Girelli does ever so well to be able to apply the finish. Stays with it, stays composed, like she's done at the international level over 50 times. Is able to be in the right place at the right time. A tremendous effort in the end from Magarin to try to clear the first effort. Nothing she can do with the second one. Juventus back in July. This will be another good opportunity. A set piece for Juventus. Ball inside. Oh, and it's Vanguard right there. Just kidding. Bonilsea. Inside. Caruso! In an offside position, so it will not count. Eventually, Bakari did get a touch on it, so it would have been a goal for number 18. However, it is called off, and Colo Colo able to catch their breath. Well, that time, the short option did yield itself to a goal, just in an offside position. Watch to the back post. Bakari, because of the touch from Caruso, when the touch happens from Caruso, that's when Bakari. Well, Fernanda Ramirez, touch by Bakari. Bakari. Takes a shot, Torero stops it. Right underneath it's Vong's guard, Caruso. Caruso, that'll go far wide a goal. Gama. Bergamaski again, across. Header back inside, Vong's guard! the lead for Juventus. This is a fantastic buildup from Juventus. The way that they were patient, the two-man game in which Gama plays 
and ultimately leads there to be time. The goal scorer of Vongsgaard is in the buildup. Now there's so much to love about this goal. Bergamaski and Gama are playing a two-man game. Gama's patient. Little point, she says go. So now it's not closed down. This is going to make its way to the back post. And Bonyase is so smart to understand she's not going to be able to score from nearly the touchline and beyond the back post. This will give you the real appreciation. The movement of Vongsgaard. The first one goes over. How can I impact the second play? And just being ready to react. Opponent got there in the end, but they allowed their opponent to stay around for most of the afternoon. But inside, flicked back. Touched by Vongsgaard. Vongsgaard, rather, and that'll go over the cross. And into the 94th minute of play. Racing Louisville Palmeiras, 8 o'clock Eastern time right here as Cantori might have the last say. Cantori in the box, across, underneath to Caruso! Ariana Caruso with the fourth goal for Juventus makes it a comfortable lead. Caruso has worked tirelessly this entire afternoon. <laughs> Vaselli with Cantore, who's been a menace on this right side. How incredibly selfless is this from Cantore to understand in that moment she could have an effort from a tight angle. She could play it across to Bakari, but instead she cuts it back all the way to Caruso. She has a lot to do on her left foot, but nothing that can be done by the goalkeeper Torero in that moment. Caruso makes it for Juventus, book a spot in the final on Tuesday. Caruso with an assist to Cantore in the first goal of the match. Now Caruso finds one of her own. Juventus, a 4-1 game against Colo Colo here in the second half. Just started to come into their own and finish the game here from Lynn Family Stadium with four goals. Colo Colo won. An exciting matchup, and it's Coach Kanzi who gets the win and heads to the final game on Tuesday. It'll be Colo Colo goes to the...